Hi, and very welcome to Milkfish Chess channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Ramesh Babu Pragnananda. He is an Indian chess player. He's considered to be a chess prodigy, and he's an international master from India. Pragnananda won the World Youth Chess Championship under eight boys. He was born in August 10th and to, uh, from 2005, so his age is 12 today, 12 years old. His FIDE rating is around 2500, that's the recording from May 2018, so from this year, and he is probably at his peak ranking today. Pragnananda won the World Youth Chess Championship Under 8 Boys title in 2013 and the Under 10 Boys title in 2015. He is the world's youngest international master ever. In 2016, Pragnananda became the youngest international master in history at the age of 10 years, 10 months and 19 days. He achieved his first Grandmaster Norm at FIDE World Junior Chess Championship under 20 in November 2017 when finishing 4th place with 8 points. He begged his second Norm at the Harai Fisher Memorial GM Norm Tournament in Greece on 17th of April 2018, so he's currently chasing one more Norm he needs to become a Grandmaster. Yes. He is 12 years old and he's almost a grandmaster, only one norm missing. So he's definitely quite a chess prodigy. Uh, so let's see one of his games. This game was played uh, in 2016 in the Isle of Man Open between Axel Bachmann Schiavo, uh, playing with the white pieces against Ramesh Babo Pragnananda. So let's see this game. Axel Bachmann Schiavo started with p4. Knight f6 from Pragnananda, bishop to f4, g6, knight to c3, d5, queen to d2, bishop to g7, bishop to h6, offering the trade of bishops, and castle. Of course it's not good to capture the bishop here, because then this queen is going to recapture, you cannot castle anymore, and you really don't want to play with the black pieces with the queen standing on h6. So we do have castle, bishop takes g7, king takes g7, and queenside castle. So we already see that this game is gonna be bloody, so whenever you are seeing a game and it is like uh, opposite side castling. It's gonna be bloody. C5 from Pregnananda. Already attacking on the queen side. E3 protecting and also opening the bishop. Knight to C6. F3 preparing G4 and also guarding 4 so that this knight cannot jump the future and c4 so now black is already gaining a lot of space on the queen side it's blocking this bishop on c1 and already a good position from Pragnananda e4 and b5 so very aggressive move and it seems like uh, black is sacrificing a pawn now. Of course, this pawn is free to capture. You can capture it freely here. But as they say, there is no free lunch. This knight can really capture on b5, but uh, that's a lot of risky move. Uh, let's see, for example, if knight takes here on b5, then rook to b8, attacking this knight. So, for example, knight to c3, then black can play, for example, queen to b6, now with a double attack on this b2 pawn, 
White would have to defend it. For example, knight to a4, now attacking the queen and also defending the pawn. But after queen to a6, uh, black is slightly better in this position. So with this open column on the queen side, now he's attacking this knight. Uh, you would have to defend it. Uh, the best continuation here for white would be knight to c3. But after queen to b7, now attacking here again. Uh, you would definitely need to play uh, b3, but after knight to b4 and a3, black uh, doesn't need to, to move this knight, which is attacked. He can continue with his attack here just by taking the pawn, and it's already a winning position for black. If white takes the knight, for example, then we have queen takes b4 with the terrible threat of queen to a3 check. So white has to create space for his queen now, so better to take this pawn. But now after queen takes b3, you would have to block the rook by playing something like bishop to b5. And black can simply continue with pawn takes pawn. White would definitely offer an exchange of queens here with queen to b2. But after the exchange of queens, black can simply play bishop to d7. Now this bishop here is pinned, and he's being attacked twice, and there is really no way to defend this bishop. You, you would have to get your pawn back, for example, but after bishop takes b5, uh, we can see that black is one pawn up now, and with a much better position, he has this great passed pawn, this king is really uncovered here and, and very vulnerable. And uh, so black is already winning here. So let's go back. So okay, in this position we saw that this pawn on b5 is not as juicy as it seems. And you'd better not to capture this if you want to, to keep this column closed. And uh, you'd better focus on to break up the center now. And that's exactly what white plays now. He plays e takes d5. And now of course it's uh, pregnant under to play and of course he could recapture this pawn. But uh, he finds a better move instead, and he plays and is this knight to b4. White plays knight takes b5. This pawn here is unprotected, so now he, he grabs it. Uh, this comes with a discover attack on this knight. But after a lot of calculation, Pregnananda goes for it, and he takes on a2. So knight takes a2 with the check, king to b1. And uh, now this knight has nowhere to go back. All those squares are taken by this queen here. Pragnananda plays queen to d5. So white cannot capture this knight because then he's gonna uh, lose the queen with this discovery check. From from for example, if king takes knight, then c3 is a discovery check, and the next move you lose the queen. So that so king cannot take this knight. Uh, another idea would be then knight to c7, now with a double attack on the queen and on the rook. But it seems that uh, Pregnananda has everything under control. Uh, the move that was played in the game was not knight to c7, but knight to a3. Okay, let's see what would happen if uh, this knight would. Uh, if this was played in the game, then Pregnananda would probably play queen to b7. Now attacking this knight and also putting the queen on this open column. Um, probably here the best move would, would be simply bishop takes c4. Now taking another pawn and still threatening this, this knight. Uh, but then rook to b8 is just too powerful. Now you're attacking this pawn here. Uh, you would have to defend it with b3. Um, now you get back, you will get your knight back. Now it's protected. And so now this other knight here is attacked, and he also comes back. And then uh, this knight from f to d5, and black has an excellent position. Uh, black is one pawn down, but he's definitely got enough compensation, and he's probably better on, on this position. Uh, uh, most of his pieces are already developed. Uh, these pieces will, ha will really have trouble to, to move, because now black is doing so many threads here. And uh, if 
if if if White um, tries to stop this this bishop to go to f5, maybe playing g4 now. Uh, black can simply play bishop to b6. Now this this rook is coming to c8, and there is uh, black is really much better here. So in the game, Alex Bachman Schiavo just uh, retreated with his uh, with the knight. He he didn't go to complications that would arise after uh, knight to c7. And here Pragnananda continued his attack uh, brilliantly. Now he played c3. Now he's attacking the queen and also protecting his knight. And it follows with b takes c3. And now there is a long corridor here open for Pragnananda to enjoy. And he goes for it. So rook to b8 check, king to a1. And now Pragnananda uh, finds the best move, the winning move here. So if you want to try to find this, this winning move now, feel free, you can pause the video and try to do a move that is simply crushing in this position. And it's it's really nice how Pragnananda made up a, a position where now this king is in the corner. Uh, this it seems that the white pieces, white pawns are making a are a wall, uh, so his his queen cannot uh, defend his king. So so the queen is away from his king and separated by his own pieces. You know, this knight here is really not helping. Uh, very interesting position. And the move that uh, Pregnananda played is crushing now. This queen to a5. And it comes with an attack on this knight. And also making pressure, a lot of pressure here on, on c3 with the knight and the queen. So Axel played king takes a2. So okay, now Pregnananda is four points below uh, white pieces, so he's a minor piece down and also a pawn down, but the position is really crushing. So a beautiful sacrifice, a knight sacrifice, and uh, the attack continues now. And the move that Pragnananda plays now is really crushing. If you want to, to find this move also, again, feel free to pause the video and try to continue this attack. And the move is knight to d5, okay? Uh, probably some of you may thought about uh, bishop to a6 and that comes with the check but then actually white can win the game now um, because he plays c4 and now he's offering the exchange of queens uh, he's closing this diagonal and everything is just uh, okay for white now actually white is winning here so when you're playing a position like that you, you cannot make a mistake, you have to find the best and the winning move. And uh, the move that Pragnananda played here was knight to d5. Very nice move, uh, with, a, with a strong threat to knight to c3. Uh, you cannot even push c4 now because knight to c3 is winning immediately. So this knight is protected by this queen, and if this king moves, only move would be uh, to a1. Then queen takes a knight on a3 and this would come with the checkmate. So for example, this continuation is checkmate. So after knight to c3, the queen is forced to take if you don't want to have checkmate. But uh, it's, it's simply lost. So, okay, so after knight to d5, uh, white still tried to play this knight to e2, so now it's protecting this, this pawn here. Uh, but now, you, there's a, a crushing move, and now it is bishop to e6. Uh, now you're threatening all kinds of discoveries here, there's no way to avoid it. Uh, again, you cannot play c4 now, uh, because now this b4 square is available for the knight, and there's a forced checkmate sequence here. So now it's check, and you, you would have to sacrifice the queen, because if you try to do something else, you're just getting checkmated. Okay, so for example, if king comes here to, to b1, for example, then simply knight to d3, uh, discover check, and uh, you would you could try to block this with the, with the knight, but simply rook takes knight, and it, it comes with the check, and after it takes here, then simply queen to e2, a2, and this is checkmate. So a crushing final position, let's go back here. Bishop to a6. 
And in this position then, uh, Alex Bakuman and Schiavo resigned the game because there is really no way to save this position. The engines are, are giving mate checkmate in six moves now forced. So a beautiful game from Pragnananda. In this game he was 10 years old. And you may be asking yourself, but is Axel Bachmann Schiavo a strong player? Well, actually, he is a lot. Uh, he is a 26-21 player, FIDE rating. So, any 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 player on this 2600s, uh, a Grandmaster with 2600s, is really a strong Grandmaster. And uh, when you have 10 years old playing against against such a such a strong Grandmaster, it's really really. Uh, strong accomplishment to win in, in 18 moves with a furious attack like that. So, really awesome. Uh, I hope you, you have enjoyed this game. It's featuring Pragnananda as a chess prodigy. And we're gonna have more videos as soon about other chess prodigies. So, I'll try to cover um, uh, some that I know. And please also, uh, if you remember some chess prodigy, if you have someone in mind that you, you want to be covered in these videos, please uh, put on the on the commentaries below, so then I can accept that that suggestion and make also a video for him. All right, so thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give your thumbs up. Uh, you can also subscribe to this channel just by clicking the subscribe button below and then you would be informed and you would know when new videos are coming and so you'd be up to date with uh, this channel okay thank you so much